what's up guys once again you are welcome to our channel today all right guys there is tension in asura after abdul salami abubakar immediately called on tenobu to do something concerning the hardship in nigeria now abdul salami abubakar said nigerians can bear it no longer that if nothing is done within this period of time that nigeria is going to be over that's what he said. So he called on Tinubu to immediately do something. And Abdul Salam Abaka is not the only leader who has come out. He's not the only former head of state who has come out to uh, actually talk to Tinubu to do something about it. There are several other persons. Abbasanjo have spoken. Gowon have spoken. You know, and the rest of them have spoken. But even right now, up to now, nothing has still been done. Rather, Fuel now is selling for 1,005 in some places, 1,007, and this is making life unbearable for Nigerians. Now, we even see even APC leaders calling on Tenobu to immediately do something, you know, that they are not in support of his economic policies. That economic policy is supposed to alleviate the suffering of the people, but this one, the economic policy of Tenobu is rather killing Nigerians, all right? And but what we even know about this subsidy of a thing is that it has not even been removed that's just the truth subsidy was never removed you remember air refry came and exposed it that subsidy was not removed or rather there was increase in pump price so if tenable claim that subsidy has been removed meanwhile it has not been removed that means it need to be investigated there is this is this is a fraud this is the worst fraud that has been committed in the history of nigeria all right. Even Abbasi, I mean, uh, uh, Buhari himself knew that removing subsidy is going to spell doom for Nigeria. He did not do it. No matter how wicked he was, everybody knew that Buhari was very wicked, but he didn't even tamper with subsidy. We are not saying that Buhari was not corrupt. His regime is one of the most corrupt in Nigeria. But we are looking at now that Tinubu regime is going to be the worst, the worst corrupt regime ever in the history of Nigeria. Because he announced the removal of first subsidy, meanwhile, it has not been removed. Aerofry and exposed Tenobu, and that is why you see EFCC going after Aerofry, you know, they are trying to track him down to prosecute him over certain, you know, uh, uh, mismanagement of funds in his government. So looking at this now, look, look at Dangote now. Dangote wants to sell his well at 600 Naira. But do you know what a NMPC? NMPC is trying to sabotage Dangote's efforts. I'm not saying that Dangote is a saint. Dangote is a monopolizer. He wants to monopolize everything. We know that very well. And we also know that Dangote is, is profit driven. But the fact is that they are fighting Dangote. They don't even want Dan Dangote to even succeed. Imagine Dangote bringing fuel into the country only to be managed by, 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 by NMPC. NMPC fixed the price. They are the ones fixing the price. So right now, a lot of people look at what Abu Salami is saying, that Abu Salami is directly in support of the end bad governance. But you see, they will never come out, all right? They will never come out. In their days as, as president, things were not as bad as this. It was never as bad as this, you know? But now we're looking at a country that people are already sinking already. Nigeria is not a sinking ship. It has already sunken already, all right? It has already sunken. Now, this is a very serious uh development you know now first of october there is going to be another protest it has already been announced already and this one is going to be more deadly it's going to be more deadly am i using the right word deadly should i say it's going to be more uh more people are going to partake in it for instance the one the first one that was done in august all right okay sorry it was not in august it was in july the first protest that was done was majorly in the north, was majorly in the north. But this time around, I bet you Southerners are joining because we can take it no longer. The first protest that was done recently, what people look at it as an ethnic sentiment, that the houses are not happy with Tenebo's government, and so they are trying to remove him to even replace Tenebo's government with, 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 uh, with the military. All right, they were even calling on Russian government to come and overthrow the Nigerian government. You know, so that those were some sentiments that came into that protest. But I bet you this next one, this protest, if case not taken, is going to be more uh, powerful than the NSAS protest. It's going to be more powerful than that. 
So what do you guys think? Please kindly drop your comment below. Let me know what you think. This is Emma Com TV. God bless you.